Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries and welcome to Gosport. So what you may ask, am I doing in Gosport? Well, um, I used to live here about 15 years ago and uh, I was talking to one of my chums yesterday about one of the routes that I did while I lived here uh, and I thought to myself, what jolly fun it would be to do the route again. So here I am trying to uh, retrace my route. Now this was a route that I did pretty much every day. I lived down here, um, 30 kilometers, relatively flat, a um, couple of minor climbs in there, um, but some really nice kind of countryside and seaside, um, really nice route. Trouble is, I'm struggling to remember it. about 20 minutes away from where I live uh, but I'm on the other side of Portsmouth Harbour basically I live on one side of the harbour and Gosport is on the other side now you can take a ferry or you can drive it's a lot easier on the ferry but today I drove down um, and yeah so being on the coast uh, the challenge with today's ride is going to be the wind which is nearly always coming from the uh, southwest which is the opposite direction to which I'm riding at the moment the good thing of course about riding into the wind is that you have it as a tailwind on the way home Back in Leon Solent there, you could kind of say that that was the birthplace of my YouTube channel. When I lived in Gosport about 15 years ago, right where that vacant shop is now, there was a little bike shop called Wheel to Wheel Cycles. And obviously I got very friendly with the chap that used to own it, someone called Tony. And back in 2006, he suggested that we start making some how-to videos with this newfangled thing called YouTube and here we are many years later so thank you for that Tony unfortunately the shop's gone Tony no longer works in the cycle industry but uh, it's good to see that there's still a cycle shop in that parade I believe it's owned by one of Tony's chums Leon so it's also the place where many moons ago I had a rather embarrassing accident failing to clip out of the uh, Cleat while approaching that zebra crossing and falling in front of uh, a very amused crowd of onlookers. Very embarrassing. Just stopped very briefly here at Hillhead to admire the view. Uh, that uh, landmass over in the distance there, that's actually the Isle of Wight. And uh, you can get a very good view of Osborne House, which is where Queen Victoria died in 1901.
the only difficult part of the ride really, uh, going around Titchfield of Haven, going up the little climb and then the, uh, the gentle ascent into Titchfield. I'd almost forgotten how picturesque Titchfield Village is and how hard Hollam Hill was. So as you can see I'm back on the main Fairham to Leon Solent Road and thankfully the wind is behind me so the uh, trip back to Gosport is going to be a bit quicker. Luckily I didn't fall flat on my ass that time. favourite part of this route, riding along Stokes Bay. Absolutely amazing scenery. The road is pan flat with a not bad surface. Wind's usually behind you and you can pick up quite a speed along here. So here we are, this is Gill Kicker Point and the thing that amazes me about here is that there's a little species of beetle, the Gill Kicker Weevil, that only lives here and nowhere else in the world. So there we go, that's my Gosport loop from 2004 and that's 35 kilometres in the bank of fitness. I must admit my memory was playing a few tricks on me, uh, initially on the road out of town I couldn't quite remember which ones to take but once I'd worked it out everything all kind of fell into place and it was all second nature. And then secondly, uh, yeah, I was expecting it to be a bit harder than it actually was. So. Um, that's a good thing. So I really enjoyed that all in all and uh, I expect I'll be back to do this route again soon.